Okay, so today we're doing a tutorial in R2, um, learning the positions of the head. Um, we're gonna be doing, let's see, about nine heads, uh, maybe 11 heads today. Um, we're gonna take, and you go ahead, get open your sketchbook, you're gonna make a cross line in the center. I'm using a dark pencil, you don't, you don't have to. And then we're gonna make another line across here. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, in here I'm gonna make a circle, okay? And then I'm going to come down and make a, kind of like a jaw, okay? And I'm gonna make the neck, okay? And then usually the shoulders come out like that. We're gonna come over here again, and we're going to draw another head here. Except this time, we're giving it, so this is the center line. This time, we're gonna come down like three quarter view. So you, instead of right in the center, you come like that. And then you come and make your chin like something like that. And then you bring the, the jaw up and the neck comes like that. And then the head is like something like that. So that's the three quarter view. We're gonna do it on the other side also. So we're gonna make another circle here. Um, and then we're gonna make take that line, instead of using it in the center, you know, you find that center axis, right? And so this is telling us where our, our three quarter view is. And then here's the jaw and here's that neck. Okay, and then this is the other neck, that other side. So we have, you know, the three quarter views. So and we're gonna do a profile view right here. We're gonna do another circle here and another circle here just like that. Um, we're gonna just kind of come, this is the jaw from the side. So, and then it comes, this comes in, and then the neck kind of comes out like that, and then the chin comes down, right? And so we're gonna do it on this side too. So here's that, and the, the jaw is here, and here's that chin, and then the skull is here, and then the neck is here. So something like that. So we have the frontal view, the three quarter view, and then the profile view. We're gonna do a looking up and looking down also. So we're gonna start with looking down. So I'm gonna draw a circle here. Um, and then what we do here is I've got that center bar, but because it's looking down, you don't see hardly any of that chin. So, and then you don't really see the neck because the chin is kind of covering it. And then we're gonna do looking down to the side. So we're gonna make a, a circle here and then we're gonna come down and make that. The chin is coming here and then that's the side. It's kind of when the nose comes here. So we're looking down, the brow is here and we're looking down. I'll be doing the features in just a minute, but I'm just getting the positions right now and then this is the neck this one and then over here we're going to draw a circle here and then we're going to make we're going to take a line down here and we're going to that's three uh looking down but to the side right it's a little different so there's that there's that we're going to look up which is i think one of the hardest one of the hardest views. So we're gonna take that circle, right? And instead of a jaw, what we, we don't see that much, we just see a little bit, and then we see the neck. So it's kind of, I'm kind of cramming it here. And it's interesting, because we do have that, but the the shape of the, the jaw is, is different, because it's looking up. So that whole shape is different. Um, and I'll go over the, the proportions in just a minute. Just a second here. So yeah, I just put a nose line and a brow line. We're gonna take another circle um, and then we're gonna take the, the line here, but this time the, um, the jaw line is looking up where that is looking down. This is looking up and then that's the back of the head. So, and then what you see is you see the underside of the the chin a little bit here. So that's kind of did that a little goofy, but I'll fix it. And then here's the other one. 
make a circle here, make a crossbar here, right? And then here is the jawline kind of coming up here. So something like that. And I'm gonna go in and do some features. Uh, you see the bottom here, but, I'm, but I just wanted to get this mapped out. So when you're looking up, you don't see like a, a lot of the top of the head. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start um, with my brow. I'm gonna just do a line of the brow and this is just symbolic. So we're not doing any realism right now. We're just doing kind of um, quick little lines here. And then I'm gonna do the eyes, just the top line of the eye. And so the socket is here, right? So this is the socket kind of here. Um, and then here is the ball of the eye, kind of there's the lid. And then we come down here and there's the nose and then the mouth is here. And according to who we're looking at, you know, the, the face could be wider or shorter or longer or however, however you want to do it. And so then that's the mouth. So then something like that, something like that. It's fine. Um, we're going to go through and do all of the features on just, just simple, simple, simple. We're not shading or adding value or anything. I'm just, we're just doing a diagram of the, um, the features of the face. And so when you place the ears, the ears are somewhere here between the eye and the bottom of the nose. So that, that helps there. And, you know, according to, you know, the type of face you're drawing and the character and all of that, it will, it will kind of change a little. So we got this line here. And then this line here is telling us all the way across where our nose is. So we're going to come in here and just do this side brow. And then we're going to come across and do this brow. Okay, just bring that head up. Um, and then this nose comes over. Um, and it comes just something like this. So we don't see that. We only see the side of the nose. And then we only see part of this eye. So we're looking at three quarter view. So, you know, when you look at it, something like that. And then we're gonna take that line up from that nostril and we're going to draw this eye too, just like that. And I'm just making it up. So it's not, it's kind of dorky, but we're just, this is just symbolic. And again, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna place that ear here. And the ear is just kind of placing where everything is. And then you come down and kind of do that. And then you come down here and the lip, we don't see the full side of the other side of the lip. We only see part of it. So it, it's interesting because when you do part of that lip, so here's the side of the face and here's the nose, that lip, it comes up down and then it, you you don't see the full side of it so it kind of breaks off there instead of kind of like this other side comes all the way here but we it doesn't doesn't on this side because it it turns around so you just kind of make a little line like that and then something like that and according to the size of the face and stuff like that you can change it around right make this a little bigger um I'm going to do this side now too. This is a profile. And again, I'm going to take, I'm going to do my eyebrow here and then my, the size of my head here. Um, and then in this line is my eye, but I don't see, it's not like looking at the eye. It's, it's, it's a profile. So you only make half the eye and then here, is the nose and it, it, it if you look at the profile of a skeleton you'll see the nose comes out here and then it kind of here's the the nostril and then the mouth is here so one thing that I always do is I always kind of screw up the mouth on the profile so something like like that and then the, the ear is here 
There's the ear, just a quick little suggestion. So these are just suggestions because um, we are doing just quick sketches of the features. So you can go ahead and I'm not even erasing. I'm just leaving some of the things. And if I wanted to go back and clean it up, I could, but I'm just trying to get, to get the, um, show you the proportions. So let's do this other side and it's, it's very similar. So we've got these two lines. Um, I'm going to come in and kind of do my eyebrow here. And then I'm going to come down and kind of put my nose in here. Um, and then I have that nostril here and this here, so something like that. Um, and then this eye is here. Oh no, my pencil broke. I have to sharpen it again. Sorry, you guys. So again, And then I'm going to come and do the, the thing and it's the same on this side so you can't see that other side of the lip so you just you, you you bring it up like that and then you bring this in and then this is a full lip so you can do that and then this is here now looking at my nose I think my nostril is a little too big again this is not we're just doing like understanding the the shape of the position of the head so it's not like it's okay if it's not perfect Here's that other eyebrow, and here is that other eye. Here's the eye, just like that. And then the ear is somewhere here. And the head is here. There's that, and then let's do this one. It's a profile. So here's the eyebrow and the side of the eye. And then the nose comes in and comes out. Um, and then it comes down here. And then there's the nostril. And then the, the, the lip comes out, comes down. I always blow it on the profile. I don't know why. I've been doing faces for a long time and I always have to re kind of rework the especially the lips. I'm gonna bring my eye down just a little. I feel like it's just a little, it's a little high. I'm gonna bring it down here. And then the ear is somewhere. Um, so if the jaw, if the jaw is here, the there it is. So we're not doing hair or anything because we're just really learning the shapes of the face, like the positions of the head. So that's kind of like the fifth. So let's do these looking down ones really quickly. Um, and again, we're not doing like super developed uh, uh, features or anything. This is just learning how they work. So we're gonna be looking down and this is the eyebrow right here. Um, and then the nose, it, we're looking down at the nose, so it's something like that. And then the the lip is like, it's all on a looking down plane. So it's something like that. And then the eyes are like, kind of like the Buddha. The Buddha was looking down a little bit. So we had like this foreshortening and then you see the ears kind of like that. So that's looking down. So. When we're looking down this way, we have the eyebrow and then we have the nose like that. And then this is 
here, and then this is here, and then this is the other eyebrow, and then the mouth is over here. Something like that. And again, uh, it's not perfect. We're just sketching it in. And then we're gonna do this one over here. So we're gonna take that and then there's the eye, there's the eyebrow and here's an eye. And again, I'm just sketching in. So this is the nose. This is the eye on the other side. This is the eyebrow. This is the lip here. Okay. So, you know, just fleshing it out. We're not trying to, this is the ear. Learning about how the features work. Let's do the up ones and then we'll be done for the day. So I've got my cross line here um, and I'm gonna be bringing this line around and then this line around. And what I have here is the eyebrow. It's like right here, right? And then my eye is like right here. It's looking up. And then the nose is like this. I see this other eyebrow here. And then I see the nostril here, okay? Um, this comes here. And then the lip is like here. is like the eye looking up and because of the, sh the foreshortening and stuff it's uh here's the ear okay so we see the other side there like that so because the line is so dark I'm gonna erase this and show it to you again so that you can see it um, so I'm gonna just quickly draw my circle and my thing and then draw my line here, my center line. This comes around and this comes around. What I have here is my eyebrow is here and then I have my eye, something like that. And it's looking up and then <clears throat> see that, but you don't really see the eye. So what you see here is a nose, the nose looking up and then like that, and then you see the, the, the lip. So, something like that. And then the chin is usually something like that. And you do sometimes see the bottom of the chin. So it depends on like the position you're looking in it can tell you like what things look like. So, so that's one of them. Let's look at this one. This, this is one of the hardest positions. So here are the eyebrow lines. And again, these features are just very symbolic and they're not observed or anything. And then we're gonna come down here. This is the center line. And the nose is actually, cause we're looking up at it. It's a, like a, um, we're looking up at it. So it's like, it often looks like a pig's nose and everybody freaks out when they do a nose looking up because of the structure of it. But we still have that universal rule of it follows the, um, something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty hard position to draw. Um, so it does go like that. And then the ears are like here. Okay, something like that. And that comes in and that comes in and then the, the neck is, is more in here like that. So, right. And then we're gonna do the last face. And again, um, I'm gonna erase it a little because it's kind of dark. So we have this face here, 
and then that here and then the circle here and then here is where the brow line is and here is where the the nose is and so the nose comes out like that and then it comes in like that and then that comes in like that something like that and then this is the nostril um the mouth is here Like that. The brow is here. The brow is here. Um, the eye is here. And it's looking up. So it's a different, different angle. This is the mouth. And we do under the chin, sometimes we do see the bottom of the, and then the ears here. And then the head is here. And something like that. This is a reference that you'll have for when you do your mask design, you'll be able to pick what um, position you want the head to be at. Um, it is important, like a common thing that people do, I do want to talk about is people sometimes don't leave, they put their eyes up here and then they don't, and then they foreshorten the head. And so that, that's something you always want to think about. Um, the jawline and where the ear goes uh, is another thing. And another thing is people make the neck like a doll's neck and that's just too, it's just too small. So remember that the neck Kind of comes off where the ears stop, um, uh, where the eyes stop, because otherwise it gets too skinny and it looks like a doll. So you do want to have make sure you have enough space for the brain. Um, this is your reference that you're going to be using when you do your uh, mask or whenever you do character development or anything like that. You have this reference of the positions of the head. You will want to think about, um, you know making the features a little bit more realistic than what I've got going on. But, um, but for the most part, this is a fairly decent reference sheet. This is 10 points. It's due today. Pop it in the um, Google Classroom and I'll see you tomorrow.